First of all, congratulations on this movie. I really love that the heart of it is sort of this relationship between these three siblings and the dynamic feels so authentic and lived in. I'm curious if you did anything specific to sort of try to build that chemistry between you three. <laughs> uh, I think it was... I think you can was... see the chemistry is very, very <laughs> <a> lot. <laughs> <laughs> Any more questions? It lives on. It lives on. Oh, we rehearsed. We yeah. rehearsed. We rehearsed. Uh, it's very much in the script. We... Yeah. It was fun because we we like a week week a week in advance uh, when we met um, we we uh, had to uh, uh, make up these characters and and voices and dances and and it was fun because you don't do that as an adult <laughs> just normally but uh, getting to like be kids in front of people these people and you just meet them it's kind of a really really quick icebreaker I think so I think that helped a lot. Mm -hmm. and dancing yeah and dancing yeah and yeah. choreography and, which is very yeah. humbling humbling to do. <laughs> dance in front of people <laughs> and yeah, yeah. Sing. yeah. <laughs> absolutely I'm totally so like karaoke off. type of person so. <laughs> No, I love that. And you mentioned the script, which is, I mean, it's such a great script, but I am curious. And you also mentioned that you sort of brought your own things to it and sort of helped develop these voices and these characters. I'm curious how much was sort of in the script and how much you were allowed to sort of improv and also like bring, you know, yourself to it. It was quite scripted and not, not really quite, not really that much improvising that I remember. Yeah. I mean, except to sort of loosen things up or make things feel, you know, natural and not too scripted, but um, but the script was very, very sort of specific um, and structured in you know in a very very conscientious way. So we sort of we sort of just worked on the script. Definitely, um, I feel like all the characters are so specific. I you've all been mentioning that, and I feel like you can really relate to all of them. Um, I'm curious if there is like one specific character you feel like you're the most like or that you relate to the most. Like, is it your own or is it maybe someone else in this like trio of siblings? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I see a lot. I, I see a bit of myself and Maggie. Um, I am technically, technically the youngest sibling. I have a twin brother. He's older than me by like a minute. And then I have a stepbrother who's, who's older than me. I should know. By more than a minute. <laughs> By more than a minute. <laughs> so, Put it that way. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm, I'm definitely the youngest, technically. Um, and uh, so I, I, get, I get that kind of uh, uh, relationship. It, it, it is very similar to, to my own experience. What about you, Hannah and Michael? I would say I'm Eric. <laughs> <laughs> To a T. <laughs> it's actually the character's face off his feet. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I don't know if I relate really to any of these people. Um, <laughs> maybe Maggie. Maybe Maggie. Of anything. Um, really? I mean, Maggie. I kind yeah. of. I can I mean, I. I don't have come from like a warring, you know, sibling thing. Like they, you know, kind of have this like silent, like Cold War thing happening between them. And Maggie is sort of the peacekeeper. But I sort of, I'm a middle child myself, and I sort of, um, I sort of relate to that a little bit, like keeping the peace, keeping things, trying to keep things harmonious. Thing that Maggie is burdened with. <laughs> I really love how this film sort of captures that specific language that families speak with each other. I think obviously through song and dance and through humor. Is there like a specific language that you would say that your own family speaks? I know mine is like movie references. That's my family's always speaking through movie references. There's a lot of that. A lot of that in my family. Um, in my, my Actually, I have an older sister who does um, vo quite a lot of voices. Oh. Um, not like invented characters like this, but she's just sort of like an amazing impressionist. Mm -hmm. But she'll do anybody, like she'll go to the DMV and have a weird person, you know, <laughs> serving her. And then she'll come home and tell you the story and really, you know, <laughs> render that person. And it's it's great. Yeah. Yeah. I'd say bad accents, probably. Bad accents. <laughs> yeah. Bad accents. The sorry. family language. <laughs> I feel like that's, that's a fun it. one. Yeah. I wish there was movie references in my family. My brother doesn't like 
movies. <laughs> just it's so odd to me. Oh, no. <laughs> I find that so strange. It's like, oh, but we're going to restrain him tonight. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Do you think that's a, sort of an attack on you and no, your life choices? I just, <laughs> you know what? I didn't really think much yeah. about it. I, he just said he just doesn't feel like it's a waste of time to like sit down and watch something for two hours. And I was like, I guess yeah. that's something yeah. I, mm. that means he's active I suppose that's right. mm. but um productive productive that's a that's good cool. mindset but um <laughs> uh he's coming to this one so he's gonna have to <laughs> put, put some time aside. suck it up you know <laughs> <laughs> um but as for our <laughs> sibling talk um no I don't really know what it is it's it's a uh, you know, kind of stuff that we've experienced before and we, you know, talk about again, you know, he does, he does do some voices. He's more of a physical guy. Like he does more like physical acting sort of, you know, instead of voices, but, um, yeah. No, I, I really love that. Um, <laughs> I think that the tone of this movie is so cool because there is obviously some really raw emotion and drama going on, but it is really funny. And I mean, I laughed out loud multiple times. I'm curious sort of what the most sort of difficult thing to shoot was and then maybe what the most fun scene um, to shoot was on the other side of that. When you say difficult, the first thing that comes to mind for me is when we were doing our scene um, in the backyard where we do all of our characters mm -hmm. in this sort of showdown horrible thing but it was just very very cold mm -hmm. um and oh it, oh it was physically it, it was physically challenging and also very challenging as far as what we were all having to do and and retain and yeah kind of demanding in that way especially i think for hannah who was like destroying her, her voice. Yeah. <laughs> so that was challenging. Yes, later to be put on the audience who has to listen. <laughs> Transference of pain. Exactly. <laughs> Isn't that what acting That's is? That's what we do. Yeah, it seemed really, it seemed really hard. Um, you guys, you guys toughed it out. You were there. I was also there. <laughs> I didn't say much. I was like, no, I'll do it. Let's party. I think that's what I say. <laughs> Something like that. You were enduring the cold. Yeah. The cold. Well, yeah. 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 <laughs> Feeling little hot pockets just turn to yeah. rocks. Yes. <laughs> um, no, that that makes makes a lot of sense. Um, Michael, one of my favorite, <laughs> one of her other films is Molly's Game, in which you also coincidentally play a poker player. I'm curious if there's something like about that sort of character and world that draws you to it, because I I just feel like that's such an interesting parallel. Well, you know what's funny is like with this movie, Dustin had been developing the script. Dustin, who wrote and directed the movie, our friend. Um, and there was no poker um, aspect in the script until, you know, really kind of like the 11th hour of, of the script. But Dustin discovered poker himself through the pandemic. And he and I were part of a poker group on Zoom with a bunch of a bunch of people sort of, you know, just you know, having a little like activity to not, not lose your minds during the pandemic thing. And Dustin got really intrigued by it and, you know, put it in and it became such a major part of this character and this and the movie, um, but that just came, you know, came up that way. But um, he, he, yeah, I, I love how he, like all of Dustin's personal poker emotions got ch channeled into this character because it can be very <laughs> aggravating <laughs> playing poker. <laughs> so fair. Um, we were talking about the singing aspect, and I have to say, you all genuinely sound so good together. Um, I'm curious if you have a favorite musical moment of the film, and then follow-up question is, when are you dropping the album? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I thought it was a lot of fun doing that final scene. I don't know about the singing aspect, but the dance, the dance that we did, because it was a, sort of a last-minute thing, but we... Uh, uh, Hannah and I worked on it like the day, like a weekend before. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. Um, we were getting kind of nervous because we kept mentioning, like, we are not choreographers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we did not know we were going <laughs> to be tasked of doing this, but uh, we hope it's good. And <laughs> oh, it's so great. Yeah, it I, I, mean, so I remember when, when they showed me and Dustin this choreography <laughs> that they'd been working on. It was just so, such yeah. a great moment. Yeah. That did feel very familial to be like, <laughs> okay. And it's so funny. <laughs> We're going to show it. Let's see it. <laughs> I remember, remember shooting that scene because there's like there's this one section of the choreography that you left open for sort of freestyle. Yeah. And remember when we were shooting and you, <laughs> Hannah saw an opportunity to like slide between Sophia's legs, but Sophia didn't you know, open her legs and Hannah just sort of. <laughs> 
slid on the dirty floor. It was really dirty floor. It was a really yeah. Was such that a was good, that killed. Such me. a good choice. <laughs> and that's on the cutting room floor. <laughs> oh, uh, hopefully, we'll get it in a deleted scene. I feel like I really, I feel like I really need that in my life. Um, thank you all so much. It was so great getting to speak to you, and I can't wait for everyone to see the movie. Thanks. Nice thank speaking you. with you.